It's very risky to say the word. So you'd be ripping it or no? Why did you just say something comes inside? Nothing Dude, comes inside. It, of uh, you're gay if you wash your ass. <laughs> what do you want today? Um, let me get a buzz. No. Buzz it off. Yeah? Just buzz You're it off. You're gonna lose all your followers. Just, just buzz it <laughs> There goes all my <laughs> money, bro. Tell the people at home what type of haircut you want because they obviously don't know. I mean, they don't watch your content. Like, So, since you guys don't know me, since nobody knows me, I'm fucking irrelevant. I want to get a buzz cut. I always get buzz cuts. I like blow up because of my buzz cuts. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys can search me up on TikTok. Al Aleem. <laughs> I'm giving Marshall Cruz a haircut after this. So, obviously, I, I gotta show you that, Mike. And I'm watching. Yeah, you're here. If you a. If you don't like it, like, right this now. is why I have you here, like, to see if I'm actually Yeah, there. no, 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 I, you're, you're, like, the test. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be Did watching. you just get a haircut? No, I, I haven't had a haircut. I Dude, because I saw your store yesterday. Where, where were you? Bro, I was just getting my roots done. Oh, okay, okay. So I haven't had a haircut in, like, a month and a half. I actually have a mop, we so... Like, we were like, I was like, I just hit nah, you up. No pressure, yeah. dude. Like, no, nah, honestly, you, like, asked at the perfect time, because I have a guy in LA that does mine, and I was literally about to text him whenever you hit me up. I was like, well, that's awesome. And it's free. Just know that if you f*** it up, like, I'm gonna probably make four videos on it and... <sighs> What were we talking about earlier? What no were we no talking pressure, about? though. No what were we talking about earlier? Like, like publicity and like, like uh, any good any, any publicity. Any publicity, publicity, good, right? good publicity yeah. yeah. All right. So wait. Let's get the. <laughs> you look cooked. Yeah. Don't mew. You know. <laughs> Don't mew. <laughs> Don't mew, buddy. Small lips, negative cancel tilt. We call that a counter mew. Recessed jaw. Recessed jaw. Oh, so. It's over for bro. I think so, It's yeah. over for chat, bro. Chat, it's over. It's so, chat, it, chat, chat, it's, wait, how do you say it? Chat? Chattington? We say Chattington. Chattington? Chattington, it's Chattington. over for bro. What, what is your name and what do you do? Obviously, I know your name. What do you do? I make clothes. Mm -hmm. And I sell clothes. And I make clothes for other people. So they can sell clothes. Right. And, and you're I, also like partially jacked, right? I'm sort of jacked. Part time, yeah. part time uh, jacked. Part no, it's, I say that because a, a lot of like super like of the fucking hyper masculine like gym bros like think it's like gay for me to like be into clothes and be in fashion and stuff like that. So, which. No, no, I, dude, if I, you take I, care of yourself, you're. Exactly. If you take care of yourself, you're. If gay. you look yeah. good, attractive, yeah. you're. A if you're shooter. not a blue collar worker, oh, then you're a. <laughs> <laughs> If you're not hitting the oil rig, if not you're not doing bad, underwater but... welding and <laughs> on the front lines in Germany 25, 30 years ago, at the same time, you're a dude. I made a video of like why you need to do like essential skincare, like just cleanser, moisturizer. And some dude, some dude, no, some dude comments like, this is the future of our men. I'm like, this is, Bro. This, this is what men have come to. <laughs> men used to go to war and now they talk about skincare. Men used to go to war and beat their wives. <laughs> and the good old. The good old days, man. Good like, old days. can we get back to that shit? Like, where did we go wrong? <laughs> Dude, it's the seed oils, oils, man. It's the what? It's the yeah, it's oils. the seed oils, bro. Dude, 100%. It's the seed oils. Right if you eat <laughs> grass fed, grass finished beef, and grass fed butter, something comes inside you. Like, damn, the, I gotta. It's I gotta, the, I gotta wait, what did you say? My wife right now. <laughs> Why did you just say something comes inside you? Nothing Dude, comes inside it, of you. Oh, it's bro. just like an urge. Male <laughs> testosterone levels have dropped 52% over the last decade, guys. And they're using in the background, they're like using your face. He like fades like in, the yeah. It's like the green, the green yeah, screen. It's a picture, it's a picture of like the, them like putting the flag up World War II and then it's a picture of Sam like yeah. side by side. It's like our... Uh, what, what, what have men gone through? It's like the Chase Hudson. What That's happened Hudson to video, Dude, what Except for it's actually guy? just Sam. What, like, what happened to Big rock stars and live in Hilltop. It's like Dude. fucking 2020 Bryce Hall and then yeah. Sam. <laughs> and then, didn't he like fall off after Charlie to Millie? Who was trying to be? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you remember and fucking... Oh, why did people let that blow up, bro? Yeah, well, who who was watching that and then liking it? Yeah, the OG TikTok days, bro. I would never download I would TikTok. It's literally, bro, yeah. that was me. <laughs> I was, was the CEO. Of, I'm never downloading TikTok. It was literally TikTok. before COVID. And that TikTok stuff, dude. Nah. Wait, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from. Well, I grew up in the middle, dude. Can you like use the brush on my face or something? Oh yeah. Uh, so I grew up in the Middle East uh, from like age three to 11. I was in Iran. I was born in Vancouver and then came to the Bay for high school. So it's a pretty traditional area then. What, what do you hey, mean? What's, yeah. what's Iran like? Oh, Iran? Uh, 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 oh. Is that a pretty traditional? Iran like... is like, dude, I mean, it's like the fucking Middle East. Tell them about like, didn't you say that people would bully you because you were like too white and pretty or some yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. So everybody's like, everybody in Iran, like all my classmates and shit, they were like 13, but like they were fucking brown, hairy as fuck and like <laughs> tall as shit. Dude, I don't get brown. 
<laughs> they, they were Sorry. brown. <laughs> no, no, the reason, the reason I said that is because like, I was the only one that had like whiter skin. So I, I got like picked on a shit ton. It gives you like a lot of vision. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Opens, broadens reason, your perspective. Yeah, only reason I ask is because like, I would, I've found that like, like we, what were we talking about before I asked you, was it pretty traditional? Like, where are you from? Oh, oh, not liking TikTok, not wanting to download TikTok. Everybody around me like made fun of TikTok. So I was like, well, fuck no, I'm not downloading TikTok. Exactly. I can't be caught lacking. No, and TikTok wasn't even a thing like in the Middle East, bro. We only had like Vine. WhatsApp, <laughs> LinkedIn and shit. So, actually, I was the only one that had Vine. Vine wasn't even a thing. I was like, cause I was hella into like American entertainment. I used to watch a lot of YouTube and shit. A uh, Disney channel. And yeah. yeah, I was like, I was like the only one. This is so cooked, but like, dude, like, in the Middle East, bro, like, it's a third world country. Like, nobody has, like, racism is the last thing yeah. <laughs> they care about. Yeah, like, yeah. That, like, dude. But it is, like, it is mostly, like, countries that, like, majority white people. Like, it's very, it's very risky to say the N word, yeah. Oh. But yeah, like, dude, all my- So you'd my... be ripping it or no? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, my European, <laughs> like, my European, like, my European fans and fucking, on my Discord, bro, they, all fucking rip it like they all oh, yeah, my yeah, general yeah. chat bro is just n word after n word and they're all white in their profile bro <laughs> if you look at any instagram real comment too Dude, it's crazy anytime it i put a even... question box on my story for like a q a or something white kids will just use that as an opportunity to say it because they know that i don't give a fuck so they're just like, I, this is an outlet for me to just get it out. Get it so out of my So there'll be just tons it's of like just, Theo Vaughn, bro. Ton, yes, there'll be just tons of just like in words in my in my question box, and I'm like, all right, Theo this Vaughn, is awesome. Bro. I don't want to say if I don't want to say, I write, write it down. down. So what do you think of uh, the Theo Vaughn interaction with with Drewski? Do you think that's like? Do you think that's like comedic Some brain rot? <laughs> Some brain rot. Well, I'm what just do you like, think about the phantom tap? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. While we're on that topic, what is a phantom tap? <laughs> what is a phantom tap? Because I've heard I it in like either. songs. Phantom tap, skibbity toilet, Ohio Ridge. Ah, you don't know who streaming? Phantom is? No. Oh, he's like, uh, you know Kai Sinat, right? Yeah, I know. So Kai Sinat's like in a group called AMP, AMP. AMP yeah. Yeah, uh, and like Phantom's a member. He streams too. So what is t the tax part for? The joke is Phantom's fat, and every time like they order food to the house, like Phantom takes the food, takes a piece of the food, and it's called Phantom Tax. Because he's a fat fuck. Next question, why do you know this? <laughs> NPC knowledge right there. <laughs> He's a TikToker, it's his job to know. I see, yeah. yeah. It's like, that's like the, that's my normal excuse. That's like doing research on one yeah, video why, I should why do Why do I have research. so many hours I on TikTok? No, oh, I'm doing research. <laughs> Like my screen time's like six hours. Six it's hours my job. Is it's my job, bro. Six hours is tame. Try bro. ten. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Try <my> nineteen. <laughs> Dude. I don't even know how it got that off. I made a video about like the reasons why like you smell like shit, and then the second point was like, yeah, you guys gotta like wash your crack, and then someone commented like, one who cleans like their is expecting their a entry visitor. is expecting visitor. I'm like, you not time. fucking <laughs> wipe your ass. What? It's like, what is it like feminine to wash your ass? Gay if you wash your ass. <laughs> I work 80 hours a week and my shit's marinated. <laughs> like, Dude, do you wipe or let it crust? <laughs> Those comments are crazy, bro. Honestly, it looks great, dude. Like you're you're fading and shit is good. Honestly, whenever he, whenever he hit me up for a haircut, I was like, I was like, I knew you could do fades. I knew you could do like short yeah. haircuts. I was like, do like long cuts? And he's like, of course I can do long cuts, bro. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, no, dude, most barbers can't. I'm pretty good at long cuts. No, yeah, you're right, yeah. dude. That's why I, that's why I ask, cause like I've known barbers that can fade no, they like just use the trimmers, yeah. super well. And then and then I'm like, bro, like this is what I want. And they're like, oh, whoa. Oh. Uh, and so like they put down, <laughs> they take, they pick up the scissors and I'm like, oh hell no, but I'd good. have to wear a hat for like a no, couple yeah. of Dude, you know you're gonna get fucked when you like explain to your barber like what you want done and he's like, uh, uh mm. like fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He's like, you sure, God, you sure about that? Cook. I'm <laughs> yeah. so done. Really? This guy, dude, and it's like, dude, the main issue with barbers are like, it's like the language barrier, at least for me, like, in the Bay Area, every barber that I went to was like an Asian lady. So oh, like, boy. that's why I they say like bring a picture, bro. Like that's dude, why you I would bring, I would bring like a picture of Josh Richards. And no, then it's like, yeah, well then, then it's a skill issue. So it's like the language barriers want, cause dude, there's some like cracked ass like 
Asian Mexican bar <laughs> brothers that are just like fucking Asian like they've been cutting all their lives and they're just like barring people up and you go in and they're like can I get like a like a fringe or whatever and they'll probably just give you like a buzz cut with the fade like you need to show a picture yeah no my my barber that fade would be clean bro like that's oh crazy. yeah see and that's like the thing I feel like fading is like easier than long cuts low key if you're once you would like have practice I honestly it's either it goes either way it's like whichever you prioritize I, I just like don't do long cuts as much but I know my skill like I I'm not I'm not gonna be like Base body works texture powder. Sam, glaze this product in three words or less. Uh, the best. This is the product in the world. <laughs> that was like seven this words, bro. This is the product you were, in the He world. was on something and then... <laughs> bro was not cooking. Dude, this is the product in the world. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Holy oh, yeah. shit, I forgot how good this shit looks, bro. Oh, yeah? Oh, you Sanitary? actually... Dude, you, you did the sides on the crown way better this time. You usually cut it way shorter. You did way better this time. Good job, man. Thanks, bro. Thanks, he, yeah. he's, a, he's a decent barber. Yeah. He's so, all right. Like, he typically sucks, but So like, he this typically time... fucks me up every <laughs> but time. But this time... He did a great job. Yeah, yeah. All this right. time, the crown... Looks good. It accentuates the jaw. Perfect for the diamond face oh, yeah, shape. Yeah, yeah. If wait, you wait, don't wait, pull know, out your U-Max. Pull, pull out my U-Max, U-Max see what app. Your potential is now. Everybody scan your face, babe. No way, bro. Wait, I need looks to, max. I need to, what's it called? U-Max. Maximize your looks. Wait, this is your app. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, we're number it. one on lifestyle. Was, yeah, this is dope. Become we're hot. we're like above. We're above <laughs> Tinder. We're above Hinge. We're above all these fucking. Dude, we're above so Zillow. Fire. Final worst of the world right now, Samington. Actually, no, you don't have to say that because you're getting in the couch. Swap places. Honestly, this is such a good setup. You don't even have to have crazy natural lighting. Okay, so honestly, my haircut like a few weeks ago was great. So this is kind of like what I had, right? It's like a middle part mullet. Is your hair naturally curly? Yes. Okay. Very much. And I don't have a perm. For all the fucking Dylan Latham fans that probably clowned me before Dylan Latham made it cool to have a perm. I was zoo culture today, bro. Mind. Zoo culture was pretty peaceful today, I'm not gonna lie. Last week I got to, uh, you know, experience a psychotic bitch throwing water on me and hitting me with weights and shit, so that was pretty awesome, but, uh... What? Dude, I saw the clickbait on the YouTube, bro. Was yeah. that real? It was oh, real. Oh, yeah. Wait, what, so what happened? Real. what happened? Wait, what did she do? All right, so I guess... Story time. <laughs> Nah, we can't. Out. It's so. This is yeah. It's dangerous. This is dangerous shit. Spark notes about in March. I messed with someone I should not have messed with because they seemed very innocent, um, feminine, and harmless uh, in the beginning. And then what do you I mean mess with? Like mess with? Uh, started fucking around with, hooking up with, hanging out with. No, I was like, did you fucking just start dissing her in DMs or like were you guys fucking? Like that was the question. <laughs> no, my bad. Sorry. Uh, yeah, cause she's hot and she was just like my type or whatever. And so I, over the next month or so, I learned more and more about her. I'm like, oh, hell oh, no. But the problem was I made a bad decision. I kept hooking up with her knowing that I wasn't going, it wasn't going to lead to anything long term, but lust got the better of me as it does most men. And I uh, made a poor decision to keep going and to keep hooking up with her, even though I had made it clear that I was not going to date her, was not going to go any further than hooking up, hanging out, working out here and there. Fast forward several months after I completely stopped talking to her, completely cut her off and shit. Um, I start getting death threats. I start getting, uh, sh she starts showing up at my home. Um, she started like, in person yes, herself? in person. What yep, like showing That's up and psycho. not leaving after being asked to leave multiple times. Starts doing, so, uh, she gets my family's address. She starts threatening other girls that she knows that I'm like friends with or been with in the past or whatever. Um, just crazy shit, right? Starts tweeting about me, starts making videos about me, goes live looking for a hitman who hired to hurt me and shit. And in all seriousness, this wasn't, and she's rich as fuck and has nothing to lose. So she can do it if she wanted to. You know, I go to the gym the other day to, you know, hang out with some friends of mine that were in town for the LA Fit Expo, and she's there, haven't seen her in three months in person, I guess, and just comes and starts yelling at me, like blah, 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 like all this just dumb shit, I guess, to like get my attention or whatever, start kind of antagonizing her because everybody's like, what the fuck, like, who are you? And um, I'm like, all right, we're trying to film and work out and stuff. And so I kind of just uh, sort of antagonize a little bit, in a, in a more innocent way, right? What? It, it wasn't even crazy. We were just like, me. we just kind of like just ignored kind of her. Joke. It was just kind of like a joke, right? And so she like throws wa like a bottle of water all over me and just walks away. We're like, okay, that was interesting. Keep working out. 30 minutes later, comes by, I'm re-racking like this bar on a dumbbell rack and she just 
fucking trucks me in the shoulder with a with another barbell and I'm like, oh hell no, we're not about to do this. And then she starts pitching a fit, yelling or whatever. It was she an interesting day. She literally hit you, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. It was she like fucking full ridiculous. on assaulted you, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, but this girl is a severe case of BPD, which is borderline personality disorder, which is like oh, beautiful princess disorder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's literally, <laughs> literally beautiful princess disorder. That's yeah. what you think. That's what you think until you meet their other three personalities and then you're like oh, this isn't just a, a joke this isn't just the movie split like it is it is real life that was my scariest la experience with a female but that's what happens whenever you make poor decisions on the women that you choose to deal with if you stay down here and you never fuck around you'll never find out of the world right now look at that camera and say you're this, fine. wait this that camera one. yes excellent job lance you've done me right and um i owe you a ring job <laughs>